The project we're working on is called Munro. It's located about five kilometers southwest of Peachland. This is a collaborative effort between about five different groups. The project was initiated back in around 2017 with the partnership between Okanagan Nation Alliance and Penticton Indian Band. We have about 22 people on site to uh, help execute this prescribed burn. We were looking at doing some harvesting here. We decided to do a bigger project rather than just a industry-led regular cut block. The nation, the elders from Penticton Indian Band and West Bank First Nation came, just said, here's an area, there's some trees, there's some sick forest here, what can we do to make it better? And partnered there to come up with a plan. There was a lot of uh, what we call Tamiku in that area. There was endangered species in that area. There was uh, water in that area. Everything you, that you wanted to look for was there. Our people have always used that area, whether the harvest roots, whether the harvest medicines or animals. So yeah, it's an important area. It clears the land and gives nutrients back to the land. And some of those berries, if you go to old um, burns, the berry population is a lot better after a burn. Those are the reasons why it clears the land and adds nutrients for berries. This particular project is really exciting. It's, um, it's been a while since we've had a, a prescribed burn locally, and uh, it's really good to see fire back on the landscape. You know, everyone's really coming together in a collaborative approach to get it done. In total, this project covers about 170 hectares. Today, we're just uh, biting off a 60 hectare treatment unit. Uh, in total, the 170 hectares is broken into three or four treatment units that are kind of logical to work at one piece at a time. So this will be an ongoing project. We showed up at Monroe and uh, we got put on the line and uh, got to help with the drip torches and it was very interesting to see how everything's laid out before we even got there and then the fire came and it was really good. The wind was favorable for us, the conditions were right. It's teamwork to a T. It was really, really good and I think it went without a hitch. I am most excited about this project being the example for other projects. Fire is part of our landscape, naturally, culturally, ecologically, it's part of the system. I think that public perception around that is changing. I think it's getting easier. I think people are coming around to the idea of having fire on the landscape more regularly. I think one of the common misconceptions is just the general use of fire. It is destructive and can be destructive, but when used properly, it can really help revitalize the environment. Right now we're reducing the fuel load by using fire so that come summer, that fuel won't be available for a wildfire to burn. I've learned a lot about traditional ecological knowledge and how that applies. It's just building and developing those relationships and, and looking at the forests for more than just timber. I think that this project is a really good example of how forestry can be a positive tool in ecosystem restoration and collaboration and community protection. Fire is not a toy. Fire teaches really fast, and it teaches once. Our people working with uh, the province thought it was a good idea to make something happen, so I was happy that we could do something like that. It really shows people that, yes, we can work together, and it's possible to uh, get these projects done.